So Mojang has been making a lot of change recently that have drastically changed a lot of the core fundamentals of this game. And some of them are really cool and very fun. And some of them feel like they're just kind of needlessly adding things to the game that we never asked for. So the question I have today is, are these features good for Minecraft? Because even the ones that are really fun might still not be an actual good addition to the game. It might end up hurting the game. And I guess we'll just have to look at that in today's video. So we're going to start out today looking at the armor and the armor stand and the smithing table changes because these are of course the biggest ones that everyone is the most excited about. So the way you take advantage of these changes as I'm sure you already know is you put one of these new smithing templates into the first slot, put the armor you want to um, tint in and then you put in the color and of course right here you're going to get a little bit of a view and so then if you do this we can right click and now you can see we have a bit of blue on our helmet right here now this wasn't the most exciting one but there are of course a load of other options but um another more interesting part of this change is that now if you want to upgrade something netherite you can't just throw something in and netherite i'm shift clicking these they don't work you have to put the smithing you have to put this upgrade template in and then you can put these in and then you can upgrade something netherite and this works for tools and armor alike although the tinting thing only works for armor and so at first look, this looks really cool, right? We get all these new awesome armor types and they just generally just like, I mean, come on, look at this set of armor. Like this looks genuinely awesome. But the question is, is it actually good for Minecraft? And I think at base value, yes, but a little bit deeper, there might be a few issues. But just for starters, looking at this armor um, and seeing the fact that you can now customize it, um, I think that is first off a very, very good addition because Minecraft after all is all about customizability, right? You can make your own world, make your own characters and just kind of see what you want to do with that. Um, and you know, you Minecraft, the whole selling point of Minecraft is that you can do whatever you want in this massive world. So why shouldn't you then be allowed to tint your armor and customize your appearance along with everything else? I think that is a phenomenal change and I think it very well fits with the core aesthetic of Minecraft. So what about the other change then? What if we want to upgrade thing? Is this, is this a good change as well? Because it now puts a whole extra step beyond getting netherite armor. Is that actually a good thing? And I think generally, yes, it is. So the first reason I think that this is a good change is just generally because it, it makes it harder to get netherite now, um, which is a good thing because it means that diamonds are now more useful because I do feel like whenever I'm playing survival, I kind of skip straight past diamonds as fast as I can and go straight to netherite. But now you have to go through bastions, which to be honest, I haven't legitimately raided a bastion in my entire time playing Minecraft. And that's, and that's, that's straight up the truth. That's not even a lie. So the question is, and so now every time I have to get netherite in the world, I have to go to one of these things at least once. And that's because here in the treasure bastion, there is this um, new loot to the chest table. You will always get this smithing template, which of course you have already seen in use, along with of course some other good loot. Um, and so you always have to get one of these from here. So if you want to upgrade to netherite, you either have to go and exploring, do a whole bunch of exploring in addition to your netherite mining and find four of these just to get the armor. The other way to get um, a bunch of these templates in order to make a whole lot of armor and stuff is to use this recipe and you can use up one to get two back. And so then what you could do is you could just do this a bunch of times and you end up just basically duplicating your... Um, items which I think is quite cool so now you get um, eight instead of the original one and this means that either you could do that exploring that you could do before or you could do this route and just do a whole bunch more mining for diamonds and get a couple pieces of netherrack but that doesn't really matter so you have to do at least some exploring and you have to do either a whole lot of mining or you have to do a whole lot of mining and a whole lot of exploring but of course you have to do extra mining for the diamonds I hope you get the point so this adds an extra barrier onto netherite. And the question is, is that good or not? Is this extra barrier good? I think the extra barrier is good. I don't really like the fact that it takes like, you can just duplicate items with diamonds. I don't really feel like that fits into Minecraft very well. I do like the fact that the, there's another option besides just exploring a bunch because only a few people actually really want to go and explore a whole bunch of different bastions every time they want to upgrade something to netherite. That doesn't seem like that much fun to me, at least personally, but I don't also find the idea of just, hey, we're just going to make you mine a whole lot more diamonds as a very fun idea either. I think diamonds could be included in something, but I think it'd be way cooler if it used the enchantment table or some kind of other magical thing instead of just crafting to duplicate. Because again, crafting to duplicate seems kind of cheap to me. But other than that small issue, I think this feature is generally cool except for one issue. And the only issue I have with the actual tinting part is that um, if I want to go ahead and tint something with netherite, I have to use a netherite ingot. I really wish you could just use a netherite, netherite scrap to put in there instead of using the ingot. Because let's be honest, an ingot is really, really expensive for this kind of thing. Um, and so if I wanted to have like an iron set tinted with netherite, I'd have to use four entire netherite ingots, which are very hard to come by if you didn't know that. Um, or at least they take a lot of grinding. Um, and so it kind of discourages people from ever using this netherite tint unless they're going for a 
specifically aesthetic look um, and I like the many many options that this new system gives us but I don't feel like we can take advantage of those options very well when it's locked behind such expensive things so I really do wish that you could just use a netherite scrap because I feel like that makes a whole lot more sense uh, logically because you shouldn't need a whole ingot just to tint something with if it takes a whole ingot to change something to another right shouldn't it only need um, a scrap to tint it and of course it's the same with everything else um, but since netherite is just so expensive i do feel like it should only take a scrap to tint things but that of course is just my opinion so be sure to let me know how you feel about that down in the comment section now let's go ahead and look at the next change that i'm somewhat excited about and that is in the accessibility settings and the fact that auto jump is now by default set to off in the settings is that not just the most wonderful thing you've ever heard i always use auto jump off i think most minecraft players use it off if you're different let me know because um, you you are um, you are rare. You are a rare person. But most people play with it off, and it is not gonna lie. If I turn it on right now, like how annoying is this that you just jump whenever you feel like it? And like, what if I wanted to walk over here to do some? Oh no, nope, no, I'm on top of this. If I want to, like, it's almost impossible to walk through this gap right here without jumping. And jumping, of course, uses extra stamina and stuff. I just generally, I actually cannot do this. Wait a sec. If I shift. Oh, if I shift, I can do it. Can I just, can I, no, I, no, you see, you see why this is frustrating. Oh my gosh. Okay. I'm not trying that anymore. Yes. Auto jump is the absolute worst in my opinion. I mean, it's, it's fine if you use it because I mean, it's a cool feature, but I personally despise. Um, so, um, yeah, I, I, I am very happy that they set it to, um, default off now. But there are some other new settings in this line of settings too. We of course have the glint speed and the glint strength that are now um, being looked at for right now. So you can see you can change the glint speed. So if I had an enchanted piece of armor, you can see with this enchanted piece of armor um, that you can see that it is it is shiny, but it looks really quite similar a lot of the time to the unenchanted piece, which of course is this helmet. The helmet is unenchanted and the chest plate is enchanted. And you can see there is a difference, but it is a whole lot more subtle than it was in previous versions. And you can of course change this with these settings. So if, for instance, I winged the glint speed up to 100, you can see now it is way faster than it was just a second ago. And I of course could um, go down to here and put the strength down to like 10% say, and then you could probably barely even see it. Yeah, you can you can barely see it. Like it is there, but it is so very faint. So this also allows another level of customability, which I'm always for in this game because customizability is basically what this game is built on. Um, and I am going to turn this back down to 50 for now. I don't know what I will be normally playing with these at in the future. I probably will honestly put the glint speed up to 100 because I think it looks um, a bit better, but just generally i like this because then if you want to see a whole lot of cool armor and stuff then you can change your settings a little bit uh or if you don't want to see the enchanted thing at all and you want everybody to look the same whether they're enchanted or not then that's cool too and you can change those settings too though um one thing i do so i do really like that um this is by default set to 50 i wish we could go past this glint strength because i feel like um, you could at least just do some fun things if you want to because even this like this is pretty bright But it's not super bright right and I feel like there are probably some people who would want to play it with super bright if only just because it would look funny um, And so I think that uh, it would be fun if they allowed you to um, push it past this So maybe the default now is 50 and then or even 75 and then you can push it up to 175 of course being what is currently 100 right now um, but i just think that would generally be a little bit better so i think this also gets a check for me from the is it good for minecraft list so the next thing that i want to look at is um this screen right here the create new world screen you can see if i hit create new world down here this is the now new screen that i get to and it now has tabs up at the top quite similar to bedrock edition i think this is actually very interesting i don't really know why we needed this i don't think there was a problem i never had a problem at least with the old screen but hey maybe it could be cool but one thing i was finding when i'm doing this like i have there's just more mouse movement like before i could just kind of like click a few things they were very close to each other to change my settings um and most of the time i wouldn't even have to do more than just like a couple clicks whereas now i feel like i've got to go all the way up here every time of course you're gonna be like oh bonanza you're so lazy you just don't want to move your mouse an extra few inches but like for someone who makes worlds kind of all the time um this is rather an important thing for me just um yeah to be able to have more ease so i'm not sure if this is an easier use system i do think it's cool and I'm, I'm i'm down for changes there's nothing wrong with changes but i feel like this is somewhat of an unnecessary change that doesn't really help that much at least 
So that's my question that I have for you guys today. Are these new features good for Minecraft? Because they're definitely taking the game in a whole new direction. They're definitely changing a lot of base things about the game that just have never been touched in a while. And I love the idea that 1.20 might end up being a quality of life update and just adding kind of features to just generally flesh out the game more in no specific area. I think that would be genuinely an amazing update and I think it would help so many people out. I've personally been wanting this for a long time. Um, and yeah, so I think that would be really cool, but um, they are certainly changing a whole lot of things about the game as we have seen with this armor and there are now being many, many thousands of different types of armor that you can craft um, with these whole combinations and different types of things. And if you can, of course, wear f at least four pieces of armor at once and not at least you can wear up to four pieces of armor at once, which means that that gives you almost infinite customability as far as what you want to look like but of course everybody will probably end up still wearing netherite armor because it is after all the best um but i just want to know your opinions so let me know your opinions down in the comment section are these features good for minecraft or not um and hopefully i have shared a little bit of wisdom with you about whether or not they're good i think generally they are good they're taking the game in a few directions i would just like a couple tweaks here and there just to make it um more user friendly and more easy so that is my message for you guys today and um i hope you enjoyed it um but without further ado i will see you guys next time